Okay, today class we're going to discuss the multi-step income statement that's presented in Chapter 6, Exhibit 1. Please follow along in your books while you are listening and watching this particular video so that you can examine the individual sections of this particular statement. Please notice that the revenues from sales section has actually been expanded to include several different accounts that have been introduced in this particular chapter. You have sales for $720,185, less your sales returns and allowances, and your sales discount. These net to be $11,930, reducing the sales amount to create what we consider to be net sales. And in this particular case, it is $708,255. That is our net sales. After all items are deducted for sales returns and allowances, and sales discounts. Keep in mind, sales returns and allowances and sales discounts are actually considered to be contra revenue accounts. They contradict the revenue account, which means they reduce them. So do not forget to deduct these amounts out. Another reason why they actually put the word less there to remind the um, preparer that this is to be deducted. Once we determine what our net sales are, we then move on to the cost of merchandise sold. And in this particular section, this right here is just listed as a number of $525,305. And this particular amount is what it cost us to earn the $720,185 in sales. This basically in a merchandising situation is considered to be the cost of the merchandise that we sold. For instance, if I buy a t-shirt for $50, and I turn around and sell it for 150, my sales are 150 and my cost of merchandise sold will be 50. Now, once we get our gross profit, which in the particular case here is $182,950, we then move on to separating out operating expenses from administrative expenses. Operating expenses will be selling expenses, sales salaries, advertising, depreciation of store equipment, delivery expenses, miscellaneous selling expenses, and then we move on to what we consider to be administrative expenses. The office salaries, the rent expense, depreciation of office equipment, insurance expense, office supplies, and miscellaneous items as well. We then determine what our total operating expenses are, and in this case is $105,710. And then we determine what our income from operations is, 77240 Once we determine income from operations, we have now captured what has truly happened just with the company and the operations of the company. We then move on to other income and revenue, which could be rent revenue. Sometimes companies will sublease or sublet a certain section of their store or maybe an office space or something just to generate some extra revenue and to have the space filled. Nobody likes empty rooms. And then you have your interest expense. This particular expense could be associated with loans, mortgages for the particular building, credit card expenses, things like that. And we want to keep this down here in the other income and expense account simply because it has really not a whole lot to do with the operations itself but still has an effect of the overall company. Once we deduct or add in or those particular items, we then determine what the net income is for the company, which in this case is $75,400. So this company generated sales of $720,185 and before everything was said and done, ended up with $75,400. This particular amount down here is what the company will particularly pay taxes on unless there are any non-cash deductions that they need to, to use to reduce their tax amount. 